Sports with your boy, Mr. Zero Tyler. Yes, yes. And welcome back, boo boos. Mm hmm. Let me ask you a question Have you heard about the former suburban police officer who is accused? of killing not one but two women and dumping their bodies on the side of the highway yes yes good in the rural area with a high grass be just dumped them over there in a suitcase allegedly mm -hmm. mr stephen zelick 54 year old little boy mm-hmm I didn't say man this right here is a little little boy get little boy allegedly in 2012 he goes onto the internet looking for none other than what some pussy mm-hmm some pussy and just luckily he found some. Yes, yes, yes. A young lady by the name of Jenny Gomez, 19 years old, responds to an ad, allegedly. Meets up with Mr. Steven in a hotel room. And they're there for a couple of days. A couple of days. And they chilling, relaxing. Mm-hmm. Then all of a sudden, Miss Gomez is bye-bye, girl. She's bye-bye, girl. She's gone. Now, the police is saying that Miss Gomez could have been killed through a sexual encounter. Mm. Okay? Listen closely, because I'm what I'm about to say. They say, allegedly, Miss Gomez, 19 years old, was killed through a sexual encounter. So that tells me this man choked her. Probably, girl, that's what I say. Probably choked her to death. Mmm. She probably got a little, a little, little twat twang in her system. And start saying, pull my hair, choke me. And he coulda, he coulda. This is a possibility that he coulda went too hard, went too far. Girl, went too far and went too hard on that neck. I'm just saying, that's a possibility. Another possibility is this. This man coulda came there with intentions. With intentions on harming you. So, before you tell someone to put their hands around your neck, mm, if this did happen, that neck, it, girl, it ain't nothing to play with. Don't, don't, don't play with that neck. Don't tuck my neck. I don't, don't. If I tell you to tuck my neck, you don't tuck my neck. You don't, you tuck my ear. Okay? You, you tuck my ear. The big ass ear. The big old elephant ear. <laughs> Alrighty, so they're in the hotel room and allegedly he ends her life in a sexual encounter. And what he does with her body is sickening. He takes her body back to his home and store it for later. Mm-hmm. Listen, listen, listen. Follow me now. About a year after Miss Gomez, life is taken. Mr. Steven is not done, girl. He's not done. He goes out and finds another beautiful young lady in 2013 by the name of Laura Simonson. Now, this young lady was in Minnesota. So, this time, he didn't send for her, allegedly, girl. He traveled to her. He went over there to the blizzard where it was snowing at. Where it's somewhere easier for him to store a body, girl, on that ice. He can go get some ice every couple of feet. 
I'm just saying. Be very careful when you meet up with these people and you already meeting up at a spot that can help them with a murder. Minnesota got a lot of ice that can help with a murder. Okay, I'm just saying get so he meets up Miss Simpson and they chill for a couple of days. And next thing you know, Miss Simpson life is taken. Yes, yes, yes. Her life is taken. And what he does next is disgusting, girl. He puts her in his car. Take her back to the house. He can get back on the highway. Highway 9 South. Go back to his house over there in Milwaukee, girl, allegedly. Minnesota, Milwaukee. I don't know. Do the math, girl. Google it. He drives her back to his house. Where there's already one body that has been there for a year, allegedly. Mm, 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 mm. Put these two women in suitcases. Now I don't know if they was the big ones or the small ones. Cause when I first said when I first seen suitcase, I thought of the professional ones. The one you walk around the briefcase. So the suitcase, he could have had a big one. But my thing about that is, girl, that's a legend, girl. That's a ledge. My thing about that is this. Somebody bones broke. I don't give no damn. That was one or two crackles. It had to be. If you didn't put this body up in this suitcase, this briefcase, and then put it like you about to go to work. And not only that, you storing bodies like it's meat in a goddamn old deep freezer. You know what? You know what? And this is a former police officer. Understand me. This man didn't serve the people. He's happily served. Mm-hmm. Shit. Hey, bitch, I'm scared of the police. Yes, I is. I ain't get you ain't what what? What? Met a hotel. And I end up back at your house in a deep freezer. It don't add up. It don't add up. Alrighty. He faces two counts of hiding a corpse. Now, listen to what I just said. He faces two counts of hiding a corpse. Girl, a dead body, girl. So, Mr. Stevens in jail trying to figure out how he going to get away. How he got to get away. So, he in there starting to say he, he did some stuff. He admits to touching Miss Gomez. He admits to touching her. And admits to killing her, putting her in the suitcase. Allegedly. He admits to all this. They give him... 50 plus years with 20, let's say 20 back up. Allegedly, bitch. What, what, come on. It, and the DA talking about he gonna make sure he don't ever get out of jail. Um, uh, 50 years. This policeman might know a friend up in there that's going to get him some good food. He might get a good steak dinner. I don't know. This man don't need to be, look, they need to put him away. Because he got um, sentenced to where they found the bodies. He went to the jailhouse or where they found the courts in that city. Okay? He didn't go to Minnesota to go to jail. I think he needs to serve 50 years in Minnesota, bitch. 50 years in Milwaukee, bitch. And 50 years in a little town down 30, 30 miles down the street where he got the first one at. Mm. Yes, I said it. Alrighty, y'all. So let me tell you what happened. In 2014, girl, he's at home. He's chilling. He watching TV. Good old Jerry Springer in that trailer, girl. He didn't move down to a trailer. Mm-hmm. Allegedly, bitch. Allegedly. He go down there. A girl, the city people out there start cutting the grass. Over there in their rural area. They stay room. They have the lawnmower. Them riding lawnmower. 
they run into some 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 briefcase and see you know what they do they say to ching money but no it was a ching bones mm-hmm miss simerson and miss gomez yes i ain't got time for that no 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 disgusting that was just trash so a knock at your trailer door you gotta go so they get him because this is my thing about that i'm wondering well my question about that is this i'm wondering was them suitcase briefcase your property before this because if so you have years of dna on this okay and if they was brand new I'm wondering how they track them to you. Follow me now. Follow me now, girl, because I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out you already know I is. Yes. All right, so after the, after discovering these bodies, the police tries to reach out to the family. Both of the girls' families did not answer their phones. So, we got two women out here missing and not only missing, they they have been their life have been they their life have been taken. Mm, they have been put through hell, girl, and hot water, girl, girl. Mm. And no one's answering the phone. But we have a statement from 2014 from Mrs. Gomez's mother. Mrs. Gomez's mother, hold on, backpedal, her foster mother. So Miss Gomez, the 19-year-old young lady, she was already going through hell. She was already tiptoeing through hell. Very likely. Mm-hmm. She tiptoed through there. And this son of a gun just want to blaze the flames. So Miss Gomez, in 2014, Miss Gomez's foster mother allegedly states that Miss Gomez had a, a a baby boy a few years ago, I believe. A baby boy, baby girl it was a baby boy, I believe, girl. And she gave him up for adoption. After doing that, she moved in with her foster mother. Now, a question to you, foster mom. In 2014, this was this was your statement. This is 2016, and where the hell are you at? See, it's people like you that go get a check. You know, that's them system workers or whatever. I don't know what you are because you ain't got an education to go get. You ain't a social worker. You a system worker, okay? You're not a social worker. You're a system worker. Don't mix it up, girl. Don't confuse the two. You sit back and you take kids in who really, really needs attention, love, and everything above that. Girl, they need all. They need the whole pyramid. And you just sit back and you collect two, three hundred dollars a month. I don't know what they give you, but you sit back and you collect that. And I don't and you give no care. When they run away and them funds quit coming in, you don't care. That is that shows how heartless you are, girl, because it's twenty sixteen. We have no statement from you and we have found the corpse of your daughter. Your foster daughter. Mm. Cause you say she was fun in twenty fourteen. You say she was loving and you say she was fun. But where are you at now? Mm, don't play with me, girl. Don't play with me. Why you not answering that phone, girl? Alrighty. Mr. Zelik, Steven Zelik. He worked for the Alas Police Department for from February 1989 to 2001. And after that, he's in that goddamn trailer for a couple of years. So 2007 until present, he was working for a private security, like a private security guard girl, somewhere like Walmart. I don't know, girl. But this right here just just opened my eyes up to situations where you have to quit letting people take advantage of you just because they put you in a hotel room or they give you a cheap diamond ring or they give you a little attention. I know a young lady who told me. She woke. She woke up. She went outside to her car, and she, it was a a Coke, a bottle of Coke, a twenty ounce bottle of Coke. <clears throat> I need some Coke right now. My throat getting dry. But some, a twenty ounce bottle of Coke, and um, a, a, a Snicker, 
and a snicker. And um, she was like, that made her day. Sometimes the small things matter. But this woman was getting her ass whooped. She had black eyes some days. A snicker and a coke will not do. Now understand me. Understand. Understand. Because this man got this girl hotel room and ended her life. And girl, I bet you them sheets one clean. But boo-boos, until next time, you know I love you. Down. What? And you know, you know. You, if you don't know, now you know. Yes, and until next time.